feature in EXS. So we're going to look at off loop, off loop. Yeah, like we have the for in loop, and this one is a new feature inside ES6. So it's the off loop. So let's look at an example of how we can use off loop in our code. So let's say we want to uh, do some iterating over over an array. Okay, so we can use that. So let's say we have this array letters and uh, letters is equal to an array of alphabets. So let's go um, A, B, B, C, D. Then we have Let's have a uh, okay. So this is the area of characters we do have. Okay. So now let's say we want to use the for the for loop, but this we're gonna use off off the loop. So off the loop keyword. So let's say uh, mm, let's insert. This so let letter oh no let letters which is a variable of or oh, let let's use letter first of the letters this is the uh, variable itself which is the letters here and then we'll print the document dot right document dot right letter then we give some space here for concatenation let's do some space in here we are next line okay we'll be printing something else okay so let's check this out so we have A B C D printing out using the off what off loop. So very easy to use. What if we want to iterate a string instead of an array? We can simply do that. So we're doing an iteration iteration over what over a string. Okay, so. We're gonna have, let's say we have a, a variable called greet, and this, oh no, this has something like hello uh, world, and here we wanna use the same off, so we're gonna have off, so let's, uh, let's say, no, let's use characters or character of what grid. So we're using the after and inside here we're gonna do the document that right then we have our character print here. So character in here. Now let's check. Now we have uh printing of our characters. So let me see. Um, hello world okay character of great and uh, I wanted to open a little bit in a little bit out okay great so we have our hellos here counting for us that is really cool right good so this is how we can use the off loop inside es6 for javascript what if we want to look at another option let's look at uh template literals let's look at an example of our template literals in e6 so e6 templates 
the trials. Okay, so what we're gonna do is to use a simple multi line string to demonstrate this. So let's say multi line string to demonstrate this. So let's say we have a string variable str and then we'll have mm, let's use mm, let me see let's use the back tick which is let's say the ball is is rolling it's rolling out okay all right so we have multi-line string here uh let me move this one to another line just like this i use backtick for this and backtick can be found right beneath the escape keyboard right yes we need the escape keyboard mostly for standard keyboards yes so and then here i'm gonna use document dot write and then i'm gonna use the template for checks for the multi-line string so let's say i use this template here let me clear off all this here using the back tick for the template so I use the, the pre tag and I'm gonna use a dollar sign to call the variable string that is the literal template so a dollar sign in here and then I call the variable str and then I close the preview the pre tag and then I use okay so let's see what we got so now we have the ball is rolling but you see that we have multi line string one line here and one line here and this is helping us do the what the javascript es6 template literals okay let's look at another example here let's say we have a string a string with uh embed, embedded variables embedded variables and expressions so uh, we have string with embedded variables and expression okay let's try that using the literal so we have a is equal to 20 as a variable we have let let's let's be equal to 23 as a variable and then we're gonna say let's results here is where we're gonna perform the literal template here so we will use the back tick and we say there are some of of here is the template of a sum of a and dollar sign round bracket curly bracket B is dollar sign curly bracket is a plus B. So this is the literal template. Then I'll end it with a back tick. Okay, now I have to print the result out. But here I'm just gonna call the variable result in here because I have the literal template here at the top so result okay let's bring that on the screen we got it the sum of 20 and 23 is what 
is actually what 43 here so this is some cool stuff in ES6 I'm gonna continue with other cool ES's uh, new features